Hello, and welcome to this Mason Libraries tutorial on Leganto. In this example, you will learn how to tag your resources, submit your completed resource list to the library for review, and publish it for your class to see. We are going to look at Leganto in the full screen view to better view the tool. To view your reading list in full screen, click on the Open in New tab icon on the top right. Tags are pre-made labels for individual resources in a list. These aid the libraries in processing items or help you communicate information to your students. Adding tags is a vital step in the submission process. Select the Add Tags to Item button and click within the search box. You will see a list of tags that the library has made available. The icons next to the tags let you know who will be able to see them. Tags with the graduation cap icon will be seen by your students and the library. These tags communicate with your students the importance of the reading. Tags with the book icon will only be seen by the library and are used by the library to help with processing. Select Save once you have selected your tags. You can edit the tags by clicking on the item and either adding more tags or selecting the X next to an existing tag to remove the tag. Once you are done creating your list in Leganto, you can submit it to the library for review before making it available to your students. This allows the Mason Reserves team to know what needs to be processed for physical reserves, digitized for e-reserves, and allows them to explore the acquisition of non-Mason-owned materials. To send your list for review, select the Library Review button. This button sends your list directly to the library and when selected will change to read List Sent. The Mason Reserves team encourages faculty members to place reserve requests as early as possible. In order for your class to view the list, you will need to publish it. Publishing the list will also send your list to the library for review. Select the Publish button. You will be given the options to publish it for your course students only, to all students at the institution, or to anyone. If you select course students, your list will only be available to your course directly through Blackboard. If you do not frequently use Blackboard, or you want your students to access the reading list through a direct link, we suggest using the all students at the institution option as your students will only need the link to log into the list and they will log in with their MasonNet ID and password. These lists can also be found through the Find List option on the left. If you select Anyone, your list will be viewable by anyone, anywhere. This is a good option if you are sending your list to someone outside of Mason, keeping in mind that they may not have access to all the items. Once you have selected your option, select Confirm. Once you publish the list, you will see a window confirming that it is published, and the published status will change at the top of the list. Your list is now viewable, and any resource that the library is working on will automatically be updated as they are completed. Congratulations! Your resource list is now available. Additional Leganto tutorials are available on the How Do I page on the library's website. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to the Leganto Information Guide located at infoguides.gmu.edu under Library Resources and